Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today I'm going to take a super close look at my cocoon only bin, bins plural, and see if we have any adult worms at this point. Uh, that I got started two months ago, so I'm thinking there should be some some mature ones in there. So. Sorry, fed them without you guys. It's getting to be that time of year where it's super busy. If you hear that fan in the background, that's me trying to dry the big boy castings. I swear they are sucking up moisture from the air. Where I had them in the basement. Let's see, that is an empty cocoon. So I've got a little cup and I'll put right here and I already see some little wormies. They do not look to be mature. So I'm just going to make sure that little divot is cleaned out and I'm going to put my cup here and see if we have any adult worms at this point. So no. They're they're getting to be a good size, but oh what is that thing that just went flying by? Uh, um what Okay, it was like a centipede or something. I don't know, but it was moving faster than a than a blue worm, so that's not natural. So I've got some good sized babies, but they are not what you would call, well they're definitely not what you would call an adult worm that is breeding age. I kind of tend to forget about these guys because I, they're not with the rest of my worms. They're already making some pretty castings. So they're still, I mean, they're, they're not hatchlings, but they're not breeding age yet, so maybe I was jumping the gun a little bit too much to think that they would hatch and then be mature in two months. I just have such high expectations for these little guys. bigger but definitely not not a grown up I don't know if there's a difference between the age at which European night crawlers become mature and red wigglers but these are the these are the ENCs although that one is kind of zipping along a little too fast for me to believe it's an ENC I don't know about that. Pretty zippy. Yeah, I've actually kept them completely separate from all of my other worms so that I did not accidentally have renegades. Maybe they're just young worms and they're really zippy. I don't know. The pitter patter of little pugs. So, lots of worms. Lots and lots of worms. But not adults. And I think uh, one of the times that I, I did an update, I said, well, I'm. I will do a counting. once they've become mature. So I'm going to bury their piece of melon back in there. 
and then I'm going to go wash my hands and we will go see what the Red Wigglers are doing. Alrighty, back with the Red Wigglers. Same idea, I'm just going to poke around here and if I see any adult worms, I will make a note of it. So still seeing regular wisp size wisps. They are getting to eating their packaging. Got one on the muskmelon in here. Oh, kind of a, a little baby worm party underneath. There's probably 50 or 60 worms just all right there underneath the food that I gave them this week. But looking at size, anyway, they're... I think they're appropriately scaled to what I'm seeing with the red wigglers as far as age goes. They're bigger than the brand new wisps, but they are not uh, adults for sure. So, like I said, I'm keeping them upstairs in their own little, sorry for the warm quake. Uh, in their own little area so that they don't get stressed out being in the basement. Because it is still, it's a basement. It stays pretty much the same month over month. It gets a little colder in the winter, but right now in the summer, it's uh, very cool down there. But I'm going to bury the melon back up and let these guys go back to doing what they were doing. Alright guys, well that's it for the cocoon only bin update. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to know what I'm up to when I'm up to it, hit that uh, bell icon and then you will know when I know. Alright guys, well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.